uh, U.S. Bank Stadium. Joining us now, Minnesota Vikings head coach, Mike Zimmer. <laughs> hey, um, Coach Zim, what, um, what do you think of the draft so far, the way it's shaken out? You get Garrett Bradbury, somebody I know you liked a lot at 18, but overall, do you think it's been, has it gone the way you thought or has it been unpredictable? Uh, there's been a few uh, unpredictable moves uh, during, especially early, really. Uh, you know, a couple of different picks uh, we didn't expect to go that high. And um, so, you know, there's always a little bit of unpredictability in, in the draft. You know, I think everybody hears it from us, what we think of Garrett Bradbury, but I think the audience wants to know from your mouth what it's, what's the quick 101 on his skill set? Uh, this dude is tough. He's physical. He's got great athleticism. He's got great balance. Uh, he played great against Clemson. He played great against all these ACC teams. Started at guard his sophomore year, started at, at center his junior and senior years. But this guy is, is one of the best centers that we've seen in a long, long time. Um, I, I believe he's a can't-miss guy. Uh, he's going to play a lot of football for us, and he's very smart and very tough. Uh, what is your plan with Pat Elfine? Does he just need to try to, to battle against Bradbury to be the starting center, or do you have some plans to move him to guard? No, we'll, we'll work all that out through OTAs and, and uh, through training camp. But, uh, you know, Pat's a good football player. Uh, we're just trying to get as many good football players in here as we can. Uh, these guys are all tough, physical guys. The mentality that we're looking for with our offensive line and with what we want to try to get done offensively with our philosophy, um, we're gonna, they're, they're all going to fit in, and uh, we're really excited to have, have all of them, really. Mike, your new offensive coordinator, Kevin Stefanski, been around here for a while. Gary Kubiak, somebody you've known for years, seven Super Bowls, one Super Bowl 50 coaching the Denver Broncos, and super well-respected offensive line coach Rick Dennison. So if you have Garrett Bradbury, Pat Elfline and Brian O'Neill. Those three are incredibly athletic. What does that permit you to do offensively that maybe you couldn't previously do? Well, I think one of the things in the running game, uh, if, if you notice, if you can get one guy cut out of a gap, it creates a lot of seams because we'll get these guys running side to side. We'll try to create some seams. And if we can get one guy cut off where we got two of the same colored shirts in the same gap, uh, Dalvin Cook's going to have a lot of yards. And, oh. Coach, piggybacking on, on that, I mean, with Dalvin Cook, uh, do, you, do you like his running style in, in that type of an offense as, as much as you would in any other any other style of running game? You like the Dalvin Cook off tackle, the outside zone, the cutback zone, that kind of thing? Yeah, the the really good thing about um, Dalvin is he he could do any of these any of these offenses, but he's one of those guys that is excellent at stretching the, to the perimeter and making the cutback or or um, surrounding the defense by continue to go uh, to the perimeter. So I think um, you know I think he does a great job there, and uh, this this scheme is going to fit in great with these offensive linemen. You know uh, Gary Kubiak and and Rick and and Stefanski. They've they've been talking about this guy for a long long time about what a great football player he is. And uh, you know Gary had the opportunity all fall of looking at a lot of these a lot of these players, and he was sold on this guy from day one. Mike, last one. Uh, three Clemson defensive linemen go in the top seventeen: Dexter Lawrence, Christian Wilkins, and Cleland Farrell. Uh, Tell us when you watched Garrett Bradbury perform against the Clemson Tigers defensive line. Was that something that kind of got you over the hump with him, how he stood up to those studs? Well, I, I'll tell you one thing. Um, Andre Patterson, our defensive line coach, was watching those defensive players. And he came into my office one day and he says, who's this center from North Carolina State? He said he is getting after these guys. So, um, you know, for a defensive coach to come in and, mm -hmm. and say, you know, this guy's a really good football player and he noticed him because he was watching the other players, I think that's a, a great uh, tribute to this kid. That's the ultimate in teamwork. Thank you very much, Mike. Congratulations. Okay. I, I know you wanted this guy. Yeah, we did. Thank you.